now is not the right time for me to explain. Uh, okay. Hi guys, Last Bullet here, and today I have another Black Ops 3 tips and tricks video. And today we're going to be showing you guys how to get the wolf bow. Yeah. If this does help you at all, please hit that like button, it really does mean a lot. Subscribe as it will really help my channel grow. And so, yeah, there's a lot of steps for the wolf bow, but this is the first ever bow upgrades I've ever done. It's actually really, really good, I'd say. Um, so yeah, the first step we're gonna do: go up to the first little like church bell thing there, and hold square on that painting which I showed you. And there will be some wolf symbols that pop up. Come down here and do the next one. But the thing is, though, like just follow where I'm going, and I'll just show you the four paintings. But all you have to do is go up to them and press square, um, and a little wolf pin, uh, two wolf symbols will come up. You know you've done this right if you hear a little guitar strum and the wolf symbols will stay but if it makes like an error sound and the like wolf symbols disappear then you know you've done it wrong and you have to go and restart the whole thing again like just these paintings until you get them in the correct order now the, it's, this is random every time um, so it, it will probably only take five minutes uh, it's just a bit annoying though if you do get it wrong every time um, so four paintings you just have to hold square and wait for them next up you have to come down this here and you'll um, get that bow that'll pop out the wall and every time you've done a step actually you will hear a wolf howl so that's when you know you've done all the steps um, for one like section you'll hear a wolf howl and so next you want to come to this teleporter teleport into like the rocket test area and you want to come outside and you'll see a red flag on the hill behind you you just want to shoot a bow onto that red flag and see there another wolf howl will be heard and you want to uh, wait a little bit and a little blue wolf skull will drop on the floor hold square over that and then pick it up so next up you want to now get out of the rocket test area so teleport back outside see here no, I only and you want to run over to where the yet. pyramid is I was trying to get over there now I'm going to run over to the pyramid and you want to go to this exact spot um, and press square or hold square over that little dog skeleton and a ghost wolf will appear Yes, that's right, a ghost wolf. I think that's so cool. I just love how he looks. It's amazing. So what you want to do now is follow this wolf. It will take you to three different locations. This is the first place by the like uh, church bell tower thing. And what you want to do, he'll dig a little hole and then run forward. Then he'll start barking. When he's barking, you want to kill zombies around that uh, the wolf and souls would go into that little hole and it takes about 20 zombies I'd say something like that and um, so that's the first one, one the, every time he barks and everything still needs to get um, souls into the hole but when he has stopped barking and doing like a bit of a squeal as you can hear now you want to go over to that hole hold square over like the little light and you know you have done that first spot and then once you've hold, held square then the wolf will go to the next spot. So now that we've held square, you just want to follow the wolf. Normally it's the same order for this. Um, and if you do lose him anyway, there are some footprints, but these don't uh, go very far. It's a bit like the tracker perk of multiplayer. You don't go very far, so you need to really just be following the wolf the whole time. Um, but if you do forget, then just follow the way and go in. It's, it's the same every time, I'm pretty sure. Um, so the next spot is actually where double tap is. Um, you'll dig another hole and then um, go forward, start barking, and again, you just want to collect a lot of souls.
So now we hear that the wolf is actually like, I don't know what it's called, like squealing or whatever. Uh, go back to the little blue light hole thing and just press square uh, to pick it up. I found that quite funny then, as soon as I was about to do it, the uh, big robot came along. And then there's one last spot for the wolf to go. Uh, just want to go down here, just follow where I'm going. And it is actually just outside the pack-a-punch spot in the pyramid. So again, you just want to uh, get some kills around the dog and let the souls collect into the hole. Right, so next up, when you actually do hold square over the wolf again, the next place you'll go is actually by the wall on uh, just to the left, like behind here. Um, as you can see there, it just runs over to about here, just sits next to the wall. And next step's probably the hardest one. Um, and basically, when the floating thing has appeared, all you want to do is wall run, and when the wolf symbols have popped up, so. Basically, you have to be wall running for these wolf symbols to pop up on the wall, and you need to shoot. And you can't, you can't jump off the wall. You have to shoot a bow, like an arrow, into that hole while you're on the uh, while you're on while you're on the wall. Um, which here I didn't really know what I was doing, but all you have to do is wait for that, and then the wall will come up. You want to stand on that wall, hold square, and a skeleton will come together and form a bow. You want to take that bow, like hold square. Um, and then like drop down, come to that spot again and put whole square in that box and the arrow should like go into it. Now what you want to do next is collect souls for the um, for the box and the way you do that is just get kills but you have to have it within the stairs and the pyramid. Um, so you can't actually do it outside the stairs you have to be inside the squares to collect the souls and um, once this is charged up like I just had to keep going to it randomly but I think you see like a bit of like um, a glow around the arrow when you have done that you want to go up to it hold square and um, it will take the bow it will take about 10 seconds go back up to it hold square and you will have the new upgraded wolf bow um, which I have got some gameplay at the end and see that has just been the tips I have got some more um, tips and tricks coming like how to upgrade the other bows um, so yeah if this ho has helped you all please hit the like button and if you do want some uh, more like tips and tricks and stay up to date with my Call of Duty videos uh, subscribe uh, it really would mean a lot and see so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed like comment subscribe I just want to thank you for watching see ya no thanks I need to just do this. Yes, boys. Uh huh. Watch this, guys. Wait.
If we complete this round, this is the highest round I've ever been to.